dear fellow patients with uh, myeloma, and AO amyloidosis, dear patient advocates, patient groups in our MPE community. We need to catch up. Uh, I'm a myeloma patient myself. Um, but what are, uh, in general, things we need to take into account when you look at the coronavirus well, and things? The three we all know are wash your hands frequently, keep your distance, and stay at home. Those are really important ones. Everyone knows them, but uh, especially for us as cancer patients, you need to understand that you take them very, very seriously. So um, stay at home is important. Let others do the groceries for you. Don't go to the shops yourself. You need to avoid that as much as possible. And I think when you explain to your family members or your neighbors that you're uh, as a cancer patient uh, in uh, really uh, higher danger than uh, anyone else, uh, they will absolutely help you. When you uh, are a myeloma or AL amyloidosis patient, the disease suppressed, uh, suppresses your immune system, but also treatments do, oh, uh, and also uh, uh, when you're off treatments. Uh, so explain this to uh, the people around you and they will help you, I'm sure. Uh, keep your distance is also important for you, uh, important for you especially. Uh, one and a half meter, two meter between two persons, uh, six feet, maybe if you measure with feet. Wash your hands frequently because along the day you touch a lot of things and that those things can contain a coronavirus. Uh, like uh, door handles for example, when you open the door or uh, the railing of the stairs, rub your hands between your fingers like this. Uh, when you do, you're out of soap, of course you can use alcohol too. But alcohol is a bit more aggressive for your skin, so you better to use the, the soap uh, you are at the hospital visit. They are, uh, as a cancer patient, unavoidable, of course. Um, you need to go to the hospital uh, to get your treatment and have your appointments with your hematologist. An appointment can be uh, by phone, for example, or via an internet connection. I'm sure your hematologist is into that. They really understand your specific situation. And when you're on treatment and there's uh, an infuse-related uh, component in it, for example, there are tumor, for example, bortezomib is uh, subcutaneous, but you need to go to the hospital. Maybe uh, it's possible to temporarily step over to uh, an oral combination, uh, so you can take your medicines at home and instead of going to the hospital. I don't know if it's possible for you. Um, it's not an advice uh, for everyone. Uh, only your hematologist exactly knows how your specific health situation is and uh, he or she can adapt to that and give you the right advice. So a lot of uh, treatments also uh, contain uh, steroids, uh, dexamethasone or Prednisol, prednisol. Uh, steroids also suppress your immune system quite heavy, especially when it's a high dose dexamethasone. Maybe it's good to discuss with your doctor too if it's possible to, uh, to reduce the dose. Um, again, discuss this with your hematologist if it's suitable for the health situation of you personally. Are there also things you can do yourself? Uh, stay healthy. Uh, and you stay healthy um, when you eat healthy, when you do your exercises and get your sleep. Not always easy, I know this as a myeloma patient myself, <laughs> but uh, eat healthy is the, maybe the easiest one. Uh, eat food that contains enough vitamins like vegetables and fruit, uh, just a healthy food uh, that makes you strong. Uh, continue that uh, or step over to it. And uh, the other thing is uh, keep on moving. Uh, do your exercises. Walk outside or inside the house. Take the stairs. You can also go outside, but just not in big groups and take your distance to others. But walk, uh, walk in the forest, for example, or um, in your neighborhood is okay. Um, uh, maybe even if it's possible for you to do your running exercise or your rowing exercise or your rowing machine. But it's important that you keep on moving. Not everyone can run, of course. Some people just have difficulty with walking. But do the exercises uh, adapted to your specific health situation. Uh, very you need your sleep. So um, that's a difficult one for a lot of people. 
uh, with cancer because they're quite worried uh, in this uh, area of the coronavirus. I can only give you what, 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 what worked for me. I don't know what worked for you. Yeah, I, I read a lot about the coronavirus, the news. And, uh, and at certain moments, I, um, I'm filled with it. And I have the idea that uh, there's not more to know for me uh, around the coronavirus, the dangers of it, specific for me as a cancer patient. And uh, if I have the feeling that um, there's not more to know for me, then I conclude, well, that's the maximum control I can reach at the moment. And that relaxes me uh, and I, I can get my sleep. So that works for me. I don't know what works for you, but uh, look for uh, the modus that works for you. And uh, you really need your sleep too. So don't worry all day. That's, that won't help you your healthy foods, uh, your exercise, and uh, have uh, the good sleep you need. Well, I hope we meet uh, some uh, moment again face to face, maybe next year, 2021, when the coronavirus is hopefully uh, under control uh, worldwide. Uh, stay healthy for yourself. Um, all the best.